much. Well, right now, dozens of linemen from across the country are right here in East Texas tonight to help restore power in Henderson and Smith counties. You can see just how many trucks were stationed out at the Broadway Square Mall today. A few of them coming from Kentucky and Tennessee, and some of them even arrived from Houston, where they are helping after their deadly windstorm a couple weeks back. Well, today is day two of cleanup efforts in Henderson and Smith counties, as we just mentioned at the Lake Palestine Resort. Neighbors we spoke to say they're thankful they're alive and made it out safely. Lisa told us she wasn't there when the tornado swept through, but shares what her husband and son went through that night. The trailer rocking and shaking like a really bad, like it was picking it up kind of thing, and he just um, prayed he said he didn't want to die that way and he hit the door and ran out and went and busted the window of the marina open and got in there to safety scary moments there for now she tells us they'll be staying in a tiny home just yards away that didn't suffer much damage and many volunteers have showed up to help with companies too companies have showed up with water food and trash bags one of the volunteers that was there that's helping tells us she usually spends her saturday nights enjoying the resort but today she's helping out her neighbors. Uh, devastating, heartbreaking. I mean, people are still in shock. They still have nowhere to sleep. They're bunking in with each other. Family members are trying, the ones who don't have family are trying to find places to stay. But all the destruction is just heartbreaking and devastating. And residents tell us they are still in need of that community. They're asking people to drop off basic necessities like toothpaste, toothbrushes, soap, food and gas and other items to the Lake Palestine Resort.